Hi everybody, this is M13, and this is a life update. Uh, I actually had somebody request one, which was a very... This is the first time ever I've had somebody send me a request like that. Usually it's requests for, like, show us your motorcycle, or show us this, or show us your camera, and stuff like that. But someone said, yeah, you haven't done a life update in a while, I like those, can you do one? I'm like, well, that's very nice of you. You know, it, 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 you know, it means they actually care what's going on in my life, as opposed to just telling me to, you know, do a wheelie or something. Um, okay, so the date is uh, July, August. Wow, it's August. It's August 1st. Um, yeah, pretty amazing. And it's uh, the weather is gorgeous. Uh, this is a this is a cemetery. It's actually a Catholic cemetery, which is uh, not rare, but mildly rare. Um, yeah. Jeez, I'm just, I, I keep getting blown away by the beauty right now. And my, my helmet's a little bit tinted, so it's actually the colors are dulled down. Like if I lift up my visor for a bit. It's even more beautiful, but you get, of course I can't talk when my visor's up. Um, anyway, so yeah, everything is, everything is good. Everything is good. Me and my wife have been getting, a, we haven't fought in a while. We've been getting along for, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks with no fights, and that's pretty much a record since we've been married. <laughs> uh, what it is, is, you know, just uh, uh, taking care of a baby is amazingly, amazingly stressful. And it's not just stressful because of the work you have to do, like the actual physical work, but it's stressful because your life ends when you have a baby. Am I exaggerating? No, I'm not exaggerating. Your life literally ends. You don't die, but the life Run, Forrest, run. But the life that you had before you had a baby is over. Like, before you had a baby, you used to play video games, you used to ride your motorcycle, you used to go out to the clubs, you used to do this, you used to do that. You have a baby, all of that ends, period. You know? It's just over. So you're, so everything that, the life that you had built around yourself that defined you and who you were stops when you have a baby. So you have to, all of a sudden, you have to, you're starting from scratch. You have to redefine who you are as a person because you're like, you know, it's psychologically, it's, 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 it's traumatic. And then you have the, the physical work of it on top of that. It's, it's, it's a, it's a very difficult uh, change. It's a very difficult process, change, something like, I want, I want a word like change, but not change. Very difficult transition. Woohoo, got it. It's a very difficult transition from, from being single to, to, to having a baby. I'm gonna get something to drink. And then I will finish this update after I get something to drink. Okay, just uh, had a drink. I was talking with uh, some people. And now we're gonna go do a nice road. So yeah, life update. I'm I'm on a I'm, I'm doing yeah. So that's the most important thing. Like honestly, like not fighting with my wife every day has made a huge, a huge improvement on of the quality of life I have. And so that's the that's the biggest news. Me and my wife aren't fighting. Biggest the best news. Uh, second biggest news would be uh, Charlie Borman. I hung out with uh, Charlie Borman for like a full day, and even actually night a bit too. I went when after they invited me back. They, we got we got I got along well enough with him and his crew, and they invited me back to the hotel that night just to hang out off camera. So that was cool. And uh, yeah, so geez, like everything's. And then uh, I got a new job. Uh, it's it's a very stress-free type of job, very easy going, is like no preparation and no homework or anything. It's just like show up a couple minutes before class, walk in, do something and then leave. It's just, it's easy. And, uh, but, but it's easy for, it's not easy for anyone. Like if you just showed up, you couldn't do it. That's right, I'm talking to you. Uh, and what I mean by that is, <clears throat> I used to work there, I worked there. It, it's a school that I used to work at and they asked me to come back. So, uh, got a racer behind me. We got like a fully modded out racer. He's coming right up on my head. Yeah, a 
nice that, bitch. Your car sucks. <laughs> He's like some guy that I'm souped up, modded out, something. It looked like a nice car, to be honest. But he keeps coming like right up on my ass. I'm like, okay, let's get away. I've said that before. When you you've got a car, when you've got some guy in a, either some guy who has a quick car or thinks he has a quick car, you have two options. One is accelerate and get away from him, and that's usually not the best option. Usually, the best option is to move off to the side and slow down and let him go past. Maybe even stop. You know, check your cell phone or whatever. Let him get farther away and then then go. Sometimes if you just slow down a bit and let them get by, then what happens is two, you know, five minutes later you catch up to them again because in general bikes are quicker. But you don't want to play around with people like that. Cars and bikes don't mix. So just, you know, so yeah, you have two choices. Get a, just accelerate hard and get away or, uh, or just pull over and stop and let them go by. Or slow, you know, slow right down. Here. Anyways. <coughs> He's alive. So, yeah, so, okay, yeah, so, yeah, I hung out with them for the day, and this is, you know, like, I think, personally, I think this is a big, big deal, because I think what will happen is, and this is not, not 100%, because as, as Sven has reminded me many times, like, the vast majority of what they film ends up on the cutting room floor. You know, like, look, they did, they did a trip, you know, him and Ewan did a trip around the world, and they were filming like all day every day so they must have had like thousands or millions of whatever not millions but thousands and thousands of hours of video of footage and in the end how long was the series i think it was like 10 hours 10 hours long eight hours long so you know they got like a thousand hours of cool stuff that they recorded and they have to cut that down to 10 hours so you know <laughs> Even if he spent like 10 hours with me riding around, I'd be lucky if I show up in a series for more than a minute or two. But um, it was an interesting day. And we had some uh, interesting things happen. And they said so themselves. They actually, actually their ex I think their, their exact words were, hanging out with me for that day was the most interesting day they had in Taiwan. And they were here for seven days, so. They didn't say it was the coolest day. I think the coolest day was uh, when they did the Taroko Gorge. And I do believe if uh, on this, I have a, I have a, a series where I go to Kending with Sven. And in that series, we, we do Taroko Gorge a bit as well. And they said that was like the, the coolest thing they, they, the coolest thing they'd seen because it's, it's gorgeous. It's really beautiful uh, scenery there. So they liked that scenery. That was like one of the coolest things they saw. I want to go check out my favorite swimming spot. And but they said, but 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 the day with me was interesting because we had a lot of complications like crashes and police and ambulances and that kind of interesting. And this is not the road I want. What the hell? I'm on the wrong side of the river. Okay. So anyway, so the, the, the moral, of the, the, the point is that uh, it was an interesting day, so therefore they should probably use some of the footage. So therefore, there's a, a fairly good chance that I'm, I might make it into the series. And if I make it into the series and they say my name and uh, mention my website or something, and they said they, they might. Um, if, they, if my website makes it into a, you know, a, like an international t television series, it's going to be broadcasted in like in Europe, America, Taiwan, because it, it, they're, they're filming for the BBC and for National Geographic Channel. National Geographic Channel, we get that in Taiwan, so, and it's a and, you know, and they're in Taiwan, so there's a very, very good chance that it'll be broadcast here as well. Like it's going to be broadcast pretty much everywhere, and they're going to mention my website. So hello, like I couldn't. If I had a million dollars, a million dollars, I couldn't buy advertising that. Well, that's an exaggeration. Um, okay, if I had ten thousand dollars, ten thousand American dollars, I couldn't buy advertising that good. You know, like a TV commercial costs, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. And if I bought a TV commercial, that would just play in one country, and you know, it wouldn't. 
So anyways, yeah, so you guys get the point of me. That's some great advertising and my channel might just might just soar. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, yeah, I, I like my new job. Uh, I'm getting along with my wife. My son is super baby. What do I mean by that? I mean he's, he's eight months old and he's already pretty much walking. Uh, mild exaggeration. He's eight months old and he can stand unassisted for a few seconds. He can stand up straight and he's got like, he's, he's strong, man. He can like pick up a, a glass bottle full of milk with one hand and like wave it around. He does it all the time. It's like he's showing off. I'm like, shit, I wouldn't use one hand if I was holding something that heavy. But yeah, he, he, he's like physically very strong. He's very agile. He's, uh, he's doing a lot of stuff that, uh, he shouldn't be doing for his age, really. Underage girls in wet t-shirts. I'm not actually looking at them, I'm, I'm watching the, um, uh, the lifeguards, yeah. Yeah, this place keeps getting safer and safer. They got lifeguards there. You got lifeguards over there, and then they got these ropes down that separate you from the swimming area t to the uh, rougher rapid area. Only problem with these lifeguards is, is I like to climb up this rock over here. I like to climb, climb, climb up to the top and then jump off. And when, when you come here when there's lifeguards, they don't let you do that. They get, they get mad. It's a little dangerous because you got some big rocks in the water that you have to avoid. If you land on one, you like break your legs. I've never killed anyone. I don't know what their is. That's like a sulfur spring. That's a natural spring there, that water. That's why the water's all white. It's like sulfur coming up from the earth or whatever. It's a natural spring. Hey, one of my students here, he's like six foot tall and bigger than me. Please, future toy executive. I like it.